You wanna go on a run with me, huh? I should take you, huh? I always get nervous before a race, and I don't know why, so while we're at the stoplight, we can look at the sleep stats. Uh, my daily routine, pretty normal actually. I uh, had some overcooked toast. I normally burn it <laughs> because the extra carbon, charcoal, uh, settles in my stomach, and I've kind of had the same 
food routine for races for the last three decades. Just a slice of wheat toast, a piece of fruit, no dairy. Uh, if you watch the video, I put just a smidge, just a smidge of butter on my toast, and that was it. Okay, sleep stats. How are we looking? Readiness 73, sleepless nights. Seems like you didn't sleep that well last night. Take it easy. 72? I would have preferred a sleep score of 73, to be honest, or actually 100. I, I just get anxious before the race, even this small little 5K. And my number one tip <laughs> is go to bed early. Two, leave the house 20 minutes earlier than you think you should because arriving at the race late is the worst thing you can do and I'm about to do that. I just, I don't know, I, I think because of the lack of sleep, I wasn't thinking clearly and even though I wear two watches, my friend calls it time blindness. So he, he feels that I'm blind to time and I lose track of time. And then I decided, oh, I should do an unboxing. Duh, that was a horrible idea, Peter. Ugh. But I, I really want to uh, get this air tag on my son's uh, keychain. And I'll show you that later because we're driving. Yeah. So number one, go to bed early. Number two, leave for the race early. Get there. And if the race starts at nine, and it does, I'll still be there an hour early. But yesterday I was supposed to do my packet pickup. <laughs> totally space it. I was even in Provo. I was two miles away from doing the packet pickup. Pick it. Oh, I was two miles away from actually doing the pack up, pick up, pick up, and I still messed up because I uh, just forgot. I, yeah. I, so from now on, new rule: one video per day. I focus on just one video because it's an editing nightmare. Going through three or four different video snippets. I mean, sometimes I'll just film, you know. 10 minutes in the morning, and then 20 minutes after work, and then an hour in the evening, uh, and then on Saturday and Sunday, I often go crazy. Sunday, I primarily take the day off. I try not to film, I try not to vlog, anything like that. But on Saturdays, I go kind of crazy, and on my day off, my days off from work and on holiday. This next holiday, spring break, I am not gonna annoy my family. I'm gonna take, you know, a few videos here and there. I'm gonna just try to not be annoying. That's number one goal. And that's my snooze alarm. So I'm awake. I'm just gonna wear these seven gadgets. We have the Aura Ring 2.0. Where are my sunglasses? Oh, they're all the way back there. Uh, I'm gonna ring, oh, I'm gonna wear the Aura Ring 2.0 on my ring finger, the circular, my right index. Just for fun, I'm gonna try my thumb for the Gen 3 Aura Ring from Finland. Wow, this is a bumpy road. And then also, you know, I brought an audio cable with me and I'm not connected. That's a, that's a darn shame. Next stop light, I'll connect my audio. Oh my gosh. Uh, I probably could have used another 20 miles of training, but I've been nursing this injury for the last year. I ran on a treadmill several times, and I sprinted. According to Garmin, I did a six-minute mile on Wednesday night. I didn't intend to go that fast, nor for that long. I, I didn't think my leg would hold. It, it's something to do with my right calf and my ankle, just like the bottom of my foot all the way down. Something weird is going on. I, I can't explain it other than that. Oh, no stoplight. You're just stuck with uh, a little echo audio. And then, <laughs> to make matters worse, I cut my finger doing the unboxing. That's been my fear for years. Like, one of these days, I'm going to be too focused on filming, and that knife's going to slip, and I'm going to cut open my hand or my finger, or that blade's gonna go into my fingernail and <laughs> well and today it happened but luckily I am not on blood thinners and uh, it stopped bleeding within 
88 seconds, give or take. Okay, we got a stoplight. You know, I would just stop and correct the audio, but I don't know that I can afford those 30 seconds, but I'm going to. Because y'all deserve good audio, right? Yeah. And we're off and running. How's that? Does that sound better? This is the Popstar lav mic that my son let me liberate from him. <laughs> I originally bought it for him because it connected to the iPhone 5S that we used to use for filming videos. Anyway, it just works great. I have the JX Aux or JSOX adapter, so it goes USB-C to headphone and this is the audio you can get for about 20 bucks. Actually, nine, no, with tax, 20, $25. And it works great with Samsung. It also works great with the Google Pixel phones, but it does not work with OnePlus for some reason. And that new Nothing phone, I cannot get external audio to work on that. My favorite is to film on either the Samsung or the Pixel because, yeah, I regress. So we'll also run with another Aura Gen 3. This is the Slate size 12 on my left index. And then the big boys today, the Garmin Epix 2.0 on my right wrist. And then on my left wrist, the Garmin Phoenix 7X Sapphire Solar. Oh, I just saw someone running. I wonder if he's warming up and then bolting to the race. And I just saw someone with 20 gallons of milk in the back of their car. Is that for the race? Are we having milk and donuts? I'm always surprised what kind of snacks they bring. Uh, let's see, so number one tip, go to bed early, get to the race early, that's number two. Number three, don't overtrain. If it's your first 5K or 3K, first of all, never do a half marathon before you've done a 5K. Do a 5K. 5K is the foundation of running races. And you can even find five and, there was a 7K trail run that my friend JP and I did years ago in, uh, was it Eugene, Oregon, JP? It was called the SOB. We actually did it, I think, the 15K, but there was a 7K, and then they also had like the 30K. And then, yeah, so I started off 5Ks in, in high school, and then I also did 5Ks and then 10Ks in college. And then I finally did my first half, no, I did a five miler at the Portland Marathon. That was in the year 2000 or 2001 with my brother-in-law, Gary. And then, wow, I'm giving away a lot of information. And that was fun. I was just hooked. When I, when I moved back to Oregon and worked for Intel as a, as a contractor, I have a friend that reminds me of that. You never worked for Intel. You were a contractor. You were not a blue badge. You were a green badge. And a green badge does not have the same amount of power that a blue badge does. And if you're a blue badge, you only have to work four hours a day. But if you're a green badge and you're a contractor and you're trying to get hired on full time, oh man, yeah, you, you got to put in at least... 8.1 hours, maybe 8.3 hours, and you gotta you gotta be on call. You gotta work on the weekends. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get your stuff together. Anyway, I they never hired me on, and the ITO, the Internet Tablet Group, was <laughs> dissolved. So that was kind of a bummer. Uh, I had a couple friends; they stayed on, but it was a it was a department that Intel put together for their first tablet, and it debuted. At CES in 2001, Intel spent gobs of money on the project, and it never went to market. It's a shame. So Intel had a touchscreen tablet with five buttons, had a stylus. It was lovely. 
And they had that technology back in the year 1999, the year 2000, a decade before Apple did. It was awesome. Uh, my job was with RealPlayer, and I also tested the ESPN demographics. That was so much fun. When I got invited to a meeting with ESPN, oh my gosh, you know, I'm still in my 20s. I was tickled pink. I'm like, whoa, I have arrived. I mean, this is it. This is my dream. I'm, I'm a businessman. I'm in these meetings with companies that people know about. Anyway, it was, it was a big deal for me. And I still reflect back. And then since then, yeah, I've been in meetings with other large company names and it's been fun. Uh, it's fun to just work with companies you know. One day I hope to work, yeah, with Altra. Uh, I'm wearing their shoes today and they're not an official sponsor, so no Paramount Kid. But one day, who knows, maybe Altra might sponsor a video or send me a free pair of shoes to test or... I mean, I'm not running as much as I used to, but I hope to get back into it, mostly trail running, but today it's gonna be a road run, and I have cushiony shoes, cushiony socks, yeah. Okay, back to the list. Number one, don't overtrain. Number two, don't be afraid to hire a coach, or you can use Garmin coaching. It does work quite well. And I'll be doing a video on that because I'm gonna tell Garmin to train me for a 10K trail run, and then we're gonna do a detailed vlog, and then I'll write about it on Reddit, and I'll do posts on Facebook, and I, I'm forcing myself to use Twitter more, I'll see what I can do, but I only have about 90 minutes a day to do this hobby. So, I mean, there's so much I can do. Oh my gosh, can you believe that view? Okay, as soon as we get to the stop sign, I will, sh I will rotate the camera, and you can see this gorgeous, gorgeous view of the mountains. So this is my view driving to work normally. It's, it's just that awesome. I am a lucky, lucky boy. My apologies for the glare. I usually mount my uh, Insta360 camera on the car, but I did not have time today. Wow, those mountains. Okay, so now that we're at a stop sign, we can roll on down the window. Oh yeah, that is lovely. And that's your view from Center Street. I'm just gonna keep that on the front because that's, that's better looking than I am. I now have eight minutes to do the packet pickup. This is this is why I do the packet pickup pick up the night before. Uh oh, they got street closures. That's either good or bad. Maybe that's just construction. That's the other thing. If you don't, if you wait too long, and you arrive at the race too late, then you risk walking an extra half a mile, and then you're late for the race. I think it was the Devil's Lake Triathlon. I did that with my sister and her family. And I didn't tell, this was this was on me. I didn't tell them exactly where it was because I didn't really know. And as disorganized as I am now, I was even worse in my 20s. I just almost flew through life by the sea in my pants. And I didn't plan ahead enough. We didn't have GPS back then, this is the year 2000 or 2001 so we had to find Devil's Lake and I missed the starting gun by about I don't know five minutes so I jump in the water uh, my sister gets my bike ready for me and puts out my shoes and I am just racing jump in the water there's all these people ahead of me I ended up passing about 50 people which made me feel good luckily I get really great genes from my dad, and uh, I'm a pretty good swimmer. 
Not as good as uh, this guy I knew back in high school. His name was Arrow. He was amazing. And he was such a nice guy. So Arrow, if you're watching, kudos to you for always being such a nice guy in the pool, helping me with my freestyle and never rubbing it in anyone's face that you were the fastest one on the team. And you know, hats off to Coach Smith for swimming. So don't overtrain, go to bed early, hydrate. Uh, this may be a little TMI, too much information, but I always try to make sure that I'm peeing clear the night before the race and the morning of. If you're not peeing clear, then that's indicative that you're dehydrated and that's not good. I also avoid caffeine and I don't eat any red meat several days before the race. Oh my gosh, how do I... Okay, this is another downside. I haven't been to BYU campus in a while and I think I went the wrong way. I might not get my race bib, folks. BYU South Campus. Buses only. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, there's J Dogs. Mmm, J Dogs. That sounds so good. Ooh, I should go get founding flavors ice cream for my daughter after the race speaking of water let's have some more alkaline water so that's my next tip alkaline water oh my gosh it's been the secret of my success lately and it's been helping with my legs and my muscle tension lactic acid it just kind of helps flush it all out it helps my stomach and now that i'm striving to quit soda especially Coke and Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, mm. Dr. Pepper is going to be hard to quit. I'm allowing myself one soda a week, which I hope doesn't kill me. Ah, alkaline water. I had this friend at work, Mike, he bought a machine and he makes his own alkaline water. It's the coolest thing since sliced bread. So he doesn't have to pay $3 a gallon at the store like I do. And I'm looking into alternate methods of making my own alkaline water. I'm going to ask a couple of my smart friends and I just need to sit down and figure it out. I mean, I was pre-med. I should be able to do it, right? One would think. Look at those mountains. So that would be the Wasatch mountain range in particular. That is Mount Tipinogus, that big, huge white thing in the distance. Okay, not too much traffic. We are almost to the outdoor track. So I'm thinking if we just go this way, we can take the tunnel and then I can get there. Can I park here? Monday through Friday, okay. Oh, that was bumpy. All right, rock and roll, people. This is where the fun starts. I was just walking outside the track and I slipped twice. So I am going back to the car to change my shoe because I've slipped on ice before while running. Noni bene, noni bene. Famale. Famale la scala. Famale il corpo. Famale a tutto. It's just bad. Bad, bad, bad. But hey, look at those mountains. Oh yeah. The music was good. They have a DJ. So I'll be going back there walking around the track. My Apple Watch actually told me, hey, it looks like you're on a track. Which lane are you in? Well, of course I said seven. 
that's the coolest thing. That's another thing I guess Apple can do that Garmin cannot. I've never had a watch tell me, oh, it looks like you're running around a track. Wow, and mine's just the Apple Watch. Oh, you wanna see, don't you? There she is, my vintage Apple Watch 6. The watch for over two years, it's awesome. Battery health, we'll check that in a bit. I'm a wee bit nervous. I think it's been, I can't remember the last time I was in a race, but I figure I'm aging and I've been blessed with this body that functions, so I should run, right? Yes, the sun is coming out, which means that frost, see right here, no ice, no ice. That's what we want for the race. And we have almost a full hour for that sun to come over Y Mountain and warm things up. It's actually warmer than I thought, but my ears are cold, so I'm gonna put on a beanie and I'm gonna wear gloves because my rings could fall off and we don't want that. And now we're going through the tunnel. I can't believe there are more people around. Hello! Have you seen that Seinfeld episode? Hello! It's, it's, hello! 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 It's really, uh, really, uh, I'll put a link down below. Ah, oh, okay. You got this, Pete. I am a machine. I'm not better than anyone else, but today I am a better runner than I was yesterday. Just because you're an Olympic athlete doesn't mean you're better than anyone else. You're a better runner, a better swimmer, a better cyclist, gymnast, but just because you have skills and a athletic ability, or, and I keep dropping the shirt. Oh, hey Paramount Kid, I got you an extra large, but it's Cottonelle Shrink. And then this shirt is for you, TPK. Yay, minute back to my secret parking lot. This is an A-lot. I probably gave away at least 100 tickets in this lot alone. Yes, I will confess, I was one of those BYU traffic officers in brown polyester driving around a truck. I was on a motorcycle, I missed that opportunity. It kinda scared me. And uh, we rode these real, whoa! Frost, walk gingerly gingerly all right let's get whoa slow down buddy almost got hit by a cyclist okay i always bring a plethora of gear but where are my shoes whoa more ice and now we can put wally right there wally stay right there buddy oh man i can't even stand up Okay, this is the good news. I'm already sweating, which means I think I wore the right amount of clothes. Thanks for the coat, JP. Oh, mother of pearl, that is hot. Oh. See, I have the camera in the little stand, see? And it just, it's really sensitive. Yeah, it must be on level ground or it doesn't work. These are the shoes I'm gonna run with. I'm gonna switch to the Lone Peaks by Altra. These have more cushion, the Torin, but with the ice, and to be honest, these are lighter. If it was a 10K, I'd definitely go with the cushion, but I wore new socks, and I only have about, oh, I don't know, 400 miles of running, but look at the tread difference. Come on, which one would you choose? You'd go with the Lone Peaks? I'm debating whether or not I run with the phone, but I think I'm going to. And that way I can do a live broadcast and have tunes. Always double knot. There's another tip. Always double knot. Charge your watches the night before so you don't need to worry about that. What else do we need, Peter? What else do we need? Let's put this on. I'm wearing my lucky shirt, Kate. Thank you. Go light. Really, really light. Uber, uber light. Time for some applesauce. Thank you, Sasha, for keeping our food stocked. This is my, my power shot. That's good. That's really good.
I like these because it makes me feel like I'm an astronaut. You know, I would normally run with my iPhone today, but I'm not going to because the video quality, and it's just easier to run with this folding phone right here, the Z Flippin' 4. Okay, I got my shades, got my one camera. You know what? I'm gonna run without the phone. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do, folks. I apologize, and I may or may not have just cut my head off. 40 minutes before the race starts. Got my AirPods charged. I, I can't stand that vacuum sound. Ooh, I had a nap yesterday for an hour and 46 minutes while watching the movie Ant-Man. That's how good it was. And I also did a walk yesterday. Confirm, awesome, close, close. Ooh, battery life is down to 25%. So that's this ring right there. I should be fine, hopefully, because I didn't bring the charger. Got chapstick, got my gloves. I was gonna wear these, but I could only found, find one from the haunted half. Step count on uh, that one. 1,607, and then we'll synchronize circular while we go grab the other one. So that's the circular watch synchronizing. <coughs> and then select, yes, walking, confirm. Confirm. Okay, so activity 1,748, and that's the silver <coughs> ore ring. And how are we doing on the other one? Wow, 3,253, already 18 points of cardio. Battery life is 74, so we'll be fine there. Recording. This is going to synchronize to my slate, so the fourth ring. It thought I took a nap of 59 minutes while watching the new Atman Quantumania. Oh, and this one is... Okay, this ring is actually quite volatile, so we need to charge that ASAP. Good news, I'm calming down. Oh, the other good news is I did bring the right charger. My favorite one. I really like this one. And then they charge... Whoa! Good thing I have a... Poetic smartphone case, right? Shameless plug. Charging. There we go. After you have a smart jewelry thing, even the Samsung one, I wasn't going to wear this in the race, but you know, that's kind of my MO lately. I wear lots of gadgets. I'm going to have some granola bar and some more smart water that's not actually smart, but it's alkaline, so it is smart. And yes, I did not eat that in your car, Andy. And here's your new key fob. PH stands for me, GA, Gadgets Anonymous, because I used YouTube money to buy this. And no, Poetic didn't send me this. I dropped the $5 and just bought it because, I don't know, put your money where your YouTube channel is, right? Let's look at the morning report, shall we? To be honest, if I had my way, I would just wear this watch with my Apple watch, but I am doing a Garmin versus Garmin, so yeah. This is the Phoenix 7X on the left, which will be on my left wrist during the race, and this is the Garmin, and this is the Epix 2. You have the lovely AOD always on display. Yes, yes, yes. They were both worn last night. A 27, fine time to relax. I could not agree more. That's my training readiness. 49 sleep score, short and unbalanced. That stinks, quality poor. I went to bed way too late. I was ready to go to bed at 10. You slept too little and your overall quality was low. Oh, really? And then this is Phoenix, let's see, 29. So 29, 27, a base. This shows that I have a base of 20, no, go back up. 29, so readiness. What's my base? Recovery, 1250. Hmm, this thinks I should run slower. This thinks I should run faster. Oh, kind of confused there. The weather, 27 milliseconds last night. And then we have the Rexley run at 9 a.m. We should have body battery, 45, 51, 42 since midnight, 45 since midnight. 
Intensity minutes, 214, 332. Curiouser and curiouser. And step goal, 15 day streak, nine day streak. This is not my primary account. And then we have rise and shine, listen to your body. All right, rock on, let's check the steps. 2,964 on the Phoenix, 2,628. Wow, that doesn't make sense at all because this was on my right wrist. Well, it's only 300. We'll see what happens during the race. More importantly, we need to check my heart. One thing I really like about the Epix is the screen. The screen is gorgeous and it's much easier for me to read without my glasses. Speaking of which, yes, TPK, I brought my lucky Oakleys that you found in the abyss <laughs> of our sofa. They were missing in the depths, the deep, deep depths of the sofa for the better part of nine months. We have a low heart rate of 61, high heart rate of 65. That was, uh, that's when I was running to get my race bib and shit. So we'll do a temperature in the car. Test, this will be fun while we wait. And low heart rate, 61, uh, 60. So 60 on the Phoenix, 61. That's tomato, tomato. And then the heart rate high, 165, 160. Curious. Now what I'm gonna do, about to get naked with you, just a little bit. You might see some nipple here. This is my heart rate strap, the Polar H10. Connect that to my, f because this is an older watch. And I'll show you, because we have race day starting. Well, the gun starts at nine. So we go here to settings. Oops. Okay, let's put it on my leg. There we go. And appearance, sensors and accessories. Wrist heart rate, pulse oximeter, compass, altimeter, barometer, club sensors. Nope. We want to go to add new. And then search all sensors. Searching for all nearby sensors and accessories. And wait for it. There we go. HR152, yes, select add, select to add, connected. So now, even though I'm not wearing the watch, it shows my heart rate as 96, and that is coming. Chest strap. Most people will concur that the heart rate with a chest strap is far more accurate than the wrist, but we'll be able to see how that works because this is one year newer technology than the Phoenix, I think. So we'll be able to measure chest strap heart rate instead of, <coughs> excuse me, wrist heart rate. So again, Epix wrist heart rate, and this will be my um, chest strap. So that's pretty cool. Ooh, let's do an HRV stress test while we're waiting. That will be fun. So we scroll down, expedition, track, 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 track. Add, HRV stress, add, start, press start. Stand and relax for three minutes. There, can you still see me? <laughs> Part of me does not want to wear the Apple Watch and I'm thinking I might just do that. I'll be okay. I'm just gonna strap it down like that. Best results measure at the same time each day, stress score. So it says my heart rate is 101. And then on the Epix, since I can't do an HRV stress test at the same time, I'll do a health snapshot. Sit up straight and hold still for two minutes. <sighs> okay, wrist heart rate, 67, 104. I don't know that you can see those. I'll just show you the stats later. You don't want dry lips during a race. It's the worst, especially if someone takes your picture. Thank you, Kate, for the Fanta flavored chapstick. That was a Christmas present. Got my AirPods charged. My rings are charged. Yeah, the silver one's down to 45. You have an unconfirmed activity. Oh, yeah, this is my walking yesterday. It's always better if you can confirm these the same day. It's just better for your stats. Can't believe my training readiness was only 73. So if we compare that Origin 3 to Origin 3, the silver one that is on my right thumb, actually no, I switched them, that's right. When I went to bed last night, right before I go to bed, I've been going like this and I put both rings, this one that's charging, I put both Gen 3s on my left index finger. 
So they're both on the same finger last night, and I got a readiness score of 79 by the slate one and 73 with the silver one. That's not a huge difference. Sleep score, 75 slate, 72 with uh, the uh, silver. Huh. Let's see what my resting heart rate was. 60 versus 61. Time in bed. Oh, you know what? This one tracked the nap at the movie theater. That's why. I thought I was asleep while watching Ant-Man. If your movie <laughs> is so docile... <laughs> I am, I am sleep drunk. <laughs> that's that's how that's how bad Ant Man quant, Quantumanium was. <laughs> My body and heart were so unamused <laughs> that I got an hour and a half nap, according to the aura ring. Oh my gosh, that's that's quite <laughs> that's funny. Okay, I'm sorry. Here we'll we'll look at all this later. I need to get to the race site. I'm gonna juice my silver one just for a moment because I would hate for it to get too low. And the nice thing is about Aura is even though I just have the size 12 charger, if I carefully put it on there and don't move it, I can charge it. Travel, I don't have to travel with a size 12 and a size 13 I just see like right there not so much but right right there that's the sweet spot and now it's charging through wireless charging and it's kind of funny I've shown this to my friend Andrew it doesn't register any watts the size of this battery is 27 milliamps hmm. do I run with a phone yeah screw it okay whoa very high that was my stress well, I'm pre-race. I mean, what does Garmin expect? I don't suffer from anxiety, and I'm not going to say that I do because I don't. But I do get anxious and, you know, a little bit, you know, butterflies in the stomach, and that's what Garmin's measuring. We'll measure this again tomorrow in the morning with the same chest strap, and then I'll connect another external heart rate monitor to the Epics and see if they're different. Because I have the same body, same age, same weight, I'm using the same... Uh, Garmin Smart Index Scale. I, I'm not sponsored by Garmin. I just like their ecosystem. Okay, we don't want to kill the environment, so we're gonna kill the engine, but keep the AC on. Don't worry, this won't drain the battery because that's all I'm running. Turn off AC because I'm getting hot. You want to be a little cold, but you don't want to be too comfy warm. If you're too comfy warm, running outdoor body will overheat. Let's check the temperature, and I hope the ice is gone. Oh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. So right now we're filming on the S23 Ultra. Clear blue skies. Can't ask for anything more. I met uh, a bunch of the folk dancers. They were super nice to me. Here's the Tanner building. Had some classes in there. It's about that time, folks. Well, just got my Garmin reminder. It's go time, baby. Right is right, 
But you ain't been right yet These boots are made for walking And that's just what they'll do But one of these days these boots are Good gonna job. walk all over <laughs> you Shouldn't have been playing And you keep thinking That you'll never get burned ha! I just found me a brand new box of matches Yeah And what she knows You ain't had time to learn These boots are made for walking And that's just what they'll do one of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you Are you ready boots? Start walking!
black and white. I feel like that guy right there. I was afraid he would go like this and trip somebody. I was a little nervous, so I kept it. I kept it right. That's nice. Pretty good. 
Yeah, mine's a, a German short hair pointer. I, I put my watch on him. He can go about 28 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad. Like I'll take him running with me. He just kind of walks while I, you know. Yeah, you have to train him to just run by your side. Yeah, and he does that, but yeah. just like it's I'm just too slow for him. You know? Yeah, what? Well, uh, you'll, you'll get there. Yeah. Well, not 28 miles an hour. <laughs> Does he eat bananas? Uh, yeah. He eats everything. You want to try a banana? It's probably better than pizza. Yeah. What do you think? Wow. I can't believe he ate it. He loves, I mean, he loves... My dog will chew it and then he'll spit it out. Yeah, he eats everything. Okay, I'm going to give you one more piece, okay? Next year. <laughs> Thanks. You know, I think I'm recording right now. <laughs> you mind being in my YouTube video? Uh, awesome. Yeah. So my name is Peter. Hi, uh, name is Jake. Hey, sign away your life. What's that? Sign away your life. Ow, oh, how's that? So? You're not going to get any money from this. Oh, yeah, that's fine. If I'm lucky, I'll make 800 bucks. <laughs> if I'm really, really lucky, and that's the reason it's going to take two years. Uh -huh. so, yeah, that's right. Yeah. How'd you feel about your run today? Fine. I'm not a runner, so. You know, whatever. But your dog is. He is. He likes it. Should I get you another banana? The female nine and under. And this is why I was looking for the bid. Please do not hate me if I mispronounce your name. And this is our winner. This is our first place. Adelius Sniatinsky is first place. Second place. Lila Knighton. In third place, Charlotte Rhodes. Come on up. Get your medals. Presley Jones, come on up as well. Presley Jones gets the credit that she deserves. She was our first place winner. That was a mistake on my part. We want to make sure Presley is awarded the proper medal and recognition. So congratulations to our female line thunder. Bert, are you here? Third place finisher? All right, well, congratulations, ladies. All right, male, 10 to 14. First place, Zachary Christensen. Second place, Taya Oscarson. And third place, Wally Paulson. <laughs> All right, next group, female, 15 to 19. First place, Sophie Gill. Second place, Allison Aller. In third place, Leah Thomas. Boy, you got the supporters, don't you? These are our female 15 to 19 winners. Congratulations. All right, our next category, male, 15 to 19. First place, Dane Jones. Second place, Luke Smith. And third, Soren Allen. Come on up, guys. I can still walk. <clears throat> My right leg is not cramping up. Congratulations. I mean, I'm tender. I don't think... I could have trained harder, obviously. But I finished. And I only had to walk for about two minutes, I think. Got a little winded. I'll tell you all this later. It's really loud and awesome. At the Clarence F. Robinson track, 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 track. A lot of people ran out their dogs.
Pretty awesome. Way to go, guys. Congratulations. All right. Female, 70 plus. First place, Sue Mortensen. So thank you so much for your support. Have a great Saturday, and thank you again. Go Cougars! Go Cougars. Ah, those donuts were Krispy Kremes. That's why they were so good. Great turnout today. A lot of people. How do I get out of this place? And I did not run out of battery. Uh, all in all, I think I was a little too distracted about the whole vlogging thing. And I should not have worn the Samsung watch. That was just extraneous because I think I can just import. But I had fun and I finished the race. I was, my main concern, well, I had two main concerns. My body was gonna cramp up and then I wasn't gonna be able to finish. And I've been able to finish every single race that I've started. You know, and it's not a pride thing, it's just something, okay, yeah, it's pride. You, you, wanna, you wanna start and finish. Starting is the easy part. I like the whole chest cam. And I found a track cleat. So that's the map on the Garmin. I'm gonna show this to my my daughter when I get home. I think it's pretty cool and really sharp. And now I'm cold, so cold. Oh, look at that. The track cleat went right in there. The long walk back to the car. The donuts were good. So I would definitely say that's a zero calorie donut run. I don't know, maybe like a headband would have been nice, but 
it wasn't windy before and it was clear skies and now it's a little bit cloudy are we waiting for someone should we surprise them <laughs> we're waiting for our ride oh i, I thought Nothing this was like a surprise oh, no oh. did you win the race uh no i finished and i didn't cramp up that's good. that was my goal yeah that's good it's cold have you ever had like a leg cramp oh yes yeah those really hurt and then you're like <laughs> limping the rest of the way to the finish line is this your ride, ride. oh yeah we're, we're good now all right it would have been more fun had we surprised someone okay same time next year so these are the byu dorms and if you get accepted, you could live here. To be honest, I cannot remember what these are called. Not Helaman Halls, something. There's Canyon Road, the Wendy's, Cougar Tire, Campus Edge. I would not recommend living there. Those look really old. I don't know, what do I know? I've never been inside, but from the outside, not so much. To be honest, if you're not a freshman, you definitely want to live off campus. That's where the fun is. Helaman Halls. That's no, are they Helaman Halls? I can't remember. I'll look it up on the map. Oh, yeah, I have a map right here. Although the font's kind of small. So that's Chipman Hall, Stephen L. Chipman Hall. So the Hall family donated a bunch of money. Oh, no, no, that's the name of the building. The Chipman family donated some money and then they got the name of the building. That's awesome. Good for them. <coughs> ah, runner's cough. It could be 100 degrees out, and I'll still cough after a run. Brr, it's cold. It's weird how there were thousands of runners today, and I feel like I'm the only one on campus. This is nice. Ooh, I know. I'll put the track cleat in this bottle. Hello! Hello? Hello! Ooh. That's pretty loud. Hello! 98 decibels. Good morning, Garmin. 83. That sound system, whoa. I could not sit next to, well, whenever I go to concerts, just, I'm more sensitive to sound. I think you should get older, oops. You're just more sensitive to everything. Cold, annoying people, people that litter and don't recycle their water bottles. I find that to be annoying. This is where I used to work. I was a lifeguard for BYU back in the 1990s. It was awesome. It was such an easy job. I only had to rescue one person and it turned out to be someone that was just flirting. I know it wasn't my wife, so I shouldn't have said that story. Yay, my car's still here. Another one of my worries that someone's gonna steal my car during a race. Even worse, it would have been the theft of my son's car. And be like, well, that's the last time I loaned you my car. Got it stolen. Okay, that that's just silly. Let's go home, shall we? So I'm gonna use this new device. This little Garmin Navigator. Calculating. Ready? Please drive to highlighted route. All right. I will drive to the highlighted route. Seatbelt! You know, that was, that was fun. I really enjoyed that race. Heart rate 104. <laughs> Heart rate 104. Okay, don't hit me, Suzuki Samurai. Turn left on East Cougar Boulevard, then take the first left. Okay. Yeah, those were my two biggest worries about the race. One, not being able to finish. And two, because uh, my right leg would act up. But, you know, I've been stretching. I've been drinking alkaline water. I've been trying really, really hard to do the right things and eat right. I think it has helped that I'm... Uh, limiting soda on my diet i mean if you drink soda that's fine and i've tried to quit before i once went i made it seven months and then that that was it and a half miles take the ramp on the right to lakeview parkway toward i-15 south so if you're a soda drinker i think that's great uh-oh 
low pressure, add air to tire. Thanks, GMC. Good to know. Beautiful day for a run. Call my wife. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. I'm all done. Okay. I didn't die. That's good. And I finished. That's what I wanted. I good didn't job. want to. Well, at least I wanted to finish and then die. But neither. Well, I finished and I didn't die. So a win win, right. I think. Win win. Did you, uh, did you all eat pancakes? Not yet. I'm making them right now. Perfect. I am okay. passing the Zion's Bank Tower near downtown Provo. So okay. I should be home in about 17 minutes ish. Okay. Love you. Okay, see you, you soon. Bye. Bye. I wasn't going to drink anything, and then I was going to weigh myself when I got home, but I'm like thinking, meh, no thanks. I'm tired. Allow myself to introduce myself. My name is Richie Cunningham. This is my wife, Oprah. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha! I beat the market! I beat the market! Yes, my wookie! Uh, there's nearly an animal alive that can help run a grease Scotsman. No, help me go! My cat's breath smells like cat food. And we're back in the studio, no wind noise, <laughs> good road audio. And first things first, we need to take off the beloved bib number. Oh, the hallowed piece of paper by many a runner. I don't have all my race shirts, but I have kept all of my bib numbers. Some are more valuable than others, because, you know, different runs, different feelings during that race. This one was pretty cool. I run in honor of, I forgot to fill that out. I'm going to uh, give that some thought and think about who I wanna run in honor of. And Koros, thanks for the free hat, appreciate it. Okay, let's sum it up. I need to go hit the shower and my gadgets need to come off. Yeah. Number 286, I finished. Test subject, now this one was not 
a test, but I have to return this to Garmin today, so I needed some stats. Sensor software updated, so that's for another video. The main topics were Garmin versus Garmin. More importantly, the Epix versus the Phoenix. The Apple Watch was just for fun, because who isn't addicted to those rings, right? And have I completed my rings? And then some. I like 13,000 steps. But I like that animation where they just go around and around. Okay, we have the rings. This was the Aura Ring. Gen 3 silver. This was on my right thumb the whole time. Aura Ring Gen 3 slate on my left ring. Circular Ring Gen 1 prototype. And finally, the Aura Ring 2.0 or Gen 2. Really nice. This is the Phoenix. I've had it a little over a year, 15,000 steps. But the main thing we want to look at is the recovery. Oh, okay, I did get some solar intensity. That's very nice. Yeah, that's a better camera angle. So there's the solar intensity for the day, not quite 1%. So if we scroll on down, training status overreaching vo2 max steady hrv no status acute load high acute load 592 your acute load is much higher than optimal and you need more time to recover sustained training at this load is not recommended i concur 100 garmin load focused high 142 okay a lot of aerobic because it's run vo2 max 42 i'm working on that jp HRV, 27. Finally, recovery. Four days! A high level of activity slowed your recovery. You may want to take it easy until you're fully recharged. Awesome! So no more workouts today and altitude acclimation to 4,000. Good enough for me. Now we'll look at the new kit on the block, the Epix 2 by Garmin. 15,000 steps. Oh, I forgot I enabled button beep. That might annoy some of you. Training status, no status. Acute load, very high. To get a current status, record at least one running or cycling. Interesting, because I've already done that with the other watch. 582, was that the same? Well, we'll compare them side by side in just a minute. Scroll on down, exercise load, aerobic. Acute load, too high. Load focus, anaerobic, okay. VO2 max, 42, the same. HRV, 25. Recovery, 69 hours. Earlier today, it said 71, so almost the same. Which is funny because this is my secondary count. So something is on the back end, on the Phoenix, telling me that I worked out too hard today. And if you take a look at my sleep stats, I did not sleep well last night, and you know, most of that was on me. Yeah, four hours. About the same. Short, unbalanced. This was on my right wrist all night. This was on my left. So pretty cool. So now we'll go back and we'll compare both of them. So Phoenix, overreaching, very cute, uh, very acute low to high, HRV. 25 versus 27, four days versus 69 hours, altitude 3,937, altitude 4,714. Interesting. And then just for fun, we'll do step count. Oh, let's see here. Let's see how the heart rate chart's doing. I missed some of the best stuff because the race finished hours ago. Yeah, still 126, 127. And then for fun, step count. Pretty close, pretty close. Let's check my favorite, which is flights of stairs. Hmm. How did this one get an extra five flights? Not a big deal. So you can tell the screen is just gorgeous. And there's some health stats that are being collected by the Phoenix that are not by the Epix. So this is your premium watch, and this is a really, really close second. So the rings are all almost empty. This one's still good, 
but I did that quick charge in the car. So here's size 11, put that on the charger. Size 13 goes right there. And finally, good old size 12, my favorite. So what does the ore ring know about the race? I will show you that in just a hot minute. The 5K race was a few days ago. I am fully recovered and I'm very excited because tomorrow, according to my watches, I can work out again. I'm gonna dive into the pool and do some aqua therapy and hopefully a light three kilometer run on the treadmill because it was snowy and rainy all day today here in Utah. We'll see what happens. So this is one of the longest videos I've done. I've always wanted to do a vlog and I hope you enjoyed it. I had to cut out and splice some of the stuff due to music and copyright issues. Even though you're in a big venue like we had at the, uh, like we had, like there was at the Rexley Run, or you're, uh, I, I once filmed a video at a roller rink, that music playing in the background, that's not allowed <laughs> because I don't own the rights to that music, especially if it's Queen or Metallica. There are some musical groups that are really strict on who can use your music, and, and I understand that. If I wrote a wonderful song that had millions and millions of views or whatever, I'd probably want to protect it as well. So the rings, let me show you what you get on the workout, and I'll just preface this. These, these rings are not quite designed to give you the details, so I hope you weren't really hoping for something just ah, because you're not going to get it yet. Even with the Aura Ring Gen 3s, the workout data is quite simplistic, even in 2023. And then finally, back to the watches. If we take the darn things off and scroll on down to, you know, the screen is so dark in sleep mode. It does not photograph well at all. There we go. Can you see it now? That's better. Still says overtraining, <laughs> but it should have my recovery. Yes, at zero hours. Awesome. And then the app reflects that as well. I don't know if you knew this, but you open up the app, go to more, go to training and planning, training plans. You can see all that breakdown or just right on your my day, you go to trading readiness and it will tell you your recovery time and it's saying low 13 hours. And if I scroll back, 37 hours, recovery time 61 hours and that was on March 13th. And then recovery time 85 hours on Sunday and recovery time one hour. So it doesn't store at the same as the watch, which is quite confusing. Let's see how the other one did. So I put up Garmin. So this one was connected to the iPhone and the Epics is connected to this one. Training readiness, recovery time zero, recovery time five hours as of Mon uh, Tuesday, recovery time 28 hours as of March. Ooh, training readiness a one. Recovery time, 58 hours. So was that a match on Sunday? No, this one was saying, so Epix was 85 and this one was 53. That still is quite confusing how they could not align up. No training status, but then the recovery time is zero. So they're both agreeing on that point, at least from the watches. And it's strange that the data on the watch is not completely synchronizing whoops with the app that says recovery time zero or the phoenix it still says recovery time 13 hours hmm i don't know garmin 40 59 57 24 they're recording the same workouts okay at least they agreed on sunday and then the day of the workout they were really close and I've also been comparing the HRV, 
which I think a lot of people might find interesting. Oops, oops, nope, 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 oh, hang, hang on. So again, Phoenix on the left, Epix on the right. So 69 was the average heart rate, 92, SpO2, average respiratory rate, almost in sync, stress a little off, HRV 36, 28, 40 milliseconds, 24, curiouser and curiouser. Well, we'll do some more analysis and more comparison of the Epics versus Garmin. But when it comes to the screen, the Epics wins. I need to get my hands on an Enduro 2 and compare the Enduro 2 to the Phoenix and the Enduro 2 compared to the Epics. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in that video. Yeah. And that is all she wrote. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed your popcorn during my, let's see, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Four, four days, wait, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, wait, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, wait, a five-day vlog about uh, Garmin versus Garmin and one or ring in particular, the Gen 3. And, of course, I could not ignore my new circular ring, which I love. So thank you very much. And Nicholas, if you're watching, thank you for the wonderful support over yonder in France. Uh, I'm very excited to see what Circular brings to the table later this year. And I like the competition between Aura and Circular. We're going to see some really cool stuff when it comes to wearable smart jewelry. And yes, let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. I will have another video sometime in the next 88 hours or sooner. And don't forget to run farther to go further in life. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed those credits. A shameless plug for a company who's been reaching out to me and sponsoring me with really cool watch bands. This is the Hemset watch band and it's Velcro. I got this back in October. This is mostly my daily one. I also have a navy blue one that I'll put on for 
more dressier occasions, because this one, you know, can well, it's orange, the true color of the sun. It's worn well. Velcro is still strong. It has this awesome quick release. And no, Hemset didn't sponsor the video. They did just supply me with some free gear, and they're watching this video the same time you are. I love the quick, whoops, that one attached. See, quick, awesome. And it's never fallen off. It just works great. And now I can just strap that back on. It is always harder during a video, you know, because y'all are watching me and it's like trying to write when someone's peering over your shoulder. And I love the little micro adjustments that you can do with the Velcro. It breathes better. Silicone bands. Yeah, they're okay. I mean, these are the Garmin ones. They're 50 bucks. These are a lot less. And my link's in the description if you want to uh, give me some credit and use an affiliate link and order one of your own. Oh, I have the blue one. This is what the blue one looks like. So if you were in a real big hurry and you wanted to quickly switch out the band, you would just snap those off, snap these on, strap it on your wrist, and you're good to go. That's it. See ya. Turn off the lights. Oh yes, I am still testing this Nothing phone as well. I'll have a new video on this soon. And I'm reviewing a new product tomorrow. So stay tuned. No more mic. Ooh, that's just pretty. All we have are the uh, some nice background music by a lift operator. Turn that off. And these rings. We're good to go. Back on my fingers. Good night.